is a crop museum. A crop museum is a garden in schools which contains diverse range of nutritionally relevant and climate hardly vegetables. It has mother plant that is preserved throughout the year. Ideally, one school per district can be designated as a crop museum to support the needs of other schools. Seed saving of locally adapted crops to improve the sustainability of school gardens. Crop Museum serves as a focal point for saving crop varieties. It will also serve as nurseries or source of planting materials for surrounding schools and communities. Crab Museum is where children can see diverse range of indigenous or locally crops so children can appreciate them. Schools identified as Crab Museum are expected to conduct seed search missions, seed exchanges, seed saving or storage, and seed sales to local communities. They are also required to train teachers on the importance of plant genetic resources conservation, climate change adaptation, seed production, extraction and preservation and storage methods. There are policies related to gulayan sa paaralan, reiteration of related implementing guidelines on climate change adaptation and disaster risk reduction at the school levels. Dix Memorandum Number 77 Series 1995 or the School Inside a Garden or SIGA. Deputy Order Number 55 Series 2007 or Prioritizing the Means Training of Disaster Rest Reduction in the School System. Deputy Memorandum Number 293, Series 2007, or Gulayan sa Paaralan. DO Number 5, Series 2014, or the Implementing Guidelines on the Integration of Gulayan sa Paaralan, Solid Waste Management, and Tree Planting under the National Greening Program or NGSP. Deputy Order Number 33, Series 2015 or the implementation of school-based feeding program or SBFP for school year 2015-2016. Reports, all schools shall establish and maintain the Gulayan sa Paaralan program as a source of ingredients for the SBFP. The implementation of Gulayan sa Paaralan program or GPP in public elementary and secondary schools nationwide to address malnutrition and promote vegetable production and consumption among school children is under Deep Ed Memorandum Number 95, Series 2018. Schools are encouraged to adapt the Crop Museum, technology approved by the IIRR or the International Institute of Rural Reconstruction and this will promote crop diversification and improve sufficiency on the supply of seeds and seedlings that is Deep Ed Memorandum 223 Series 2016. Nowadays, 
we are slowly losing our indigenous or local crops. That is why crop museum is so important because this will also serve as living gene banks. Locally adapted crops can tolerate adverse weather and changing climate. School gardens and backyards can be used to grow and save our crop diversity for future generations. Why we should value our indigenous crops? We need to save them before they are totally lost. What is the rule of JPP? Schools serve as custodians of biodiversity heritage in the Philippines. Schools can also serve as community seed banks. Crop Museum Minimum Requirements First is, garden area should be at least 200 square meters or more. Next, the plot should receive sunlight for at least 6 hours a day with permanent water source and a drainage system in case of heavy rains. The school administrator should ensure that there are no potential future rests, example, use of land for buildings or flooding. The area should be fenced on all sides with a double row of kakawati planted 0.5 meter apart to protect the garden from winds and typhoons and to serve as source of green leaf manure to the garden. A small nursery, simple shed with a transparent roof, should be set up for raising seedlings in trays and plastic bags. Next, to ensure high seed productivity, the garden should use bio-intensive methods using permanent raised big dug 12 inches beds. It is important that a committed school garden teacher is identified whose administrator allow him or her to devote time for caring and tendering the garden. Prioritize indigenous vegetable crops, climate hardy and nutritionally relevant. How to start our crop museum? First, organize a week-long campaign to collect seeds in September, December, and April, the peak periods for seed production. When collecting seeds, ensure that the variety is a stable one, meaning it has been grown for three to five years in the locality. School children and PTA members are asked to collect seeds from individual backyard gardens in rural communities, meaning from individual gardeners. Varieties that were grown in the same geographic area for a minimum of three years without chemical use can be considered potential or useful materials.